it feels as though the walls are starting to close in on Mike Bickle as more allegations begin to surface. We're just hearing more of his friends come out and, you know, really rebuke this guy, calling for him to be honest about what he has done. And look, we absolutely do need that. The question is, will Mike Bickle actually humble himself and do it? Well, Lou Engel, IHOP KC's co-founder, is now speaking out about this, and he had some very interesting things to say about Mike and this entire situation. We'll talk about it in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. I remind you guys as well, if you enjoy and appreciate the work I do here, why not consider blessing my ministry with a generous donation? I could really use your help. There's a couple different ways you could do it. One easy way, just click the super thanks button down below on this YT video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you can contribute, it helps and adds up. Doesn't matter how small or how big or become a premium member of Not By Sight News. You can join my Patreon today for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash Not By Sight News, link in the description. When you join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first. You also get exclusive links to these topics that we discuss, and I include them on Patreon now, the way things are getting with YT. Gotta be careful with what I include here, so it's for you on Patreon. Also there, you can comment censorship-free on all videos and even send me DMs. So check it out again, patreon.com slash notbysightnews, link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Now, Lou Engel uh, is the co-founder of IHOP KC, along with Mike Bickle, and also he heads up Lou Engel Ministries. And I know Lou Engel is not somebody that is very popular amongst many Christians either, just like Mike Bickle. However, I thought that it was interesting what he said in his comments about this entire situation. And I want to point something out about this, because these were comments that Lou made on February 6th. Now, if you're asking yourself, you know, what's so significant about February 6th, it was actually prior to the stories of Tammy Woods and TH coming out. Because what we saw after the Tammy Woods and TH stories came out, because of course we know with them, the inappropriate behavior with Bickle started with them when they were just in their teens, right? 14 and 15. So we know that after their stories came out, a lot of the Bickle buddies, as I like to call them, now they came out and they were rebuking their, you know, so-called friend that they were defending from the very beginning, like a Stephen Strang, right, from Charisma Media. However, with Lou Angle, he made these comments before the Tammy Woods and TH stories got out there. So, again, I'm not defending Lou Angle and nothing like that. I'm just saying he did make these comments prior to those stories coming out. Now, here's what he said. He said that he is calling for a full confession from Mike Bickle on all of his sin that is hidden. This really echoes the words of Dwayne Roberts from the Advocate Group, who said that Mike Bickle needs to come out, be transparent, admit all that he has done wrong. And no, they're not talking about that weak confession that he put out back on December 10th when he said, I did some things 20 years ago and you know, but it wasn't as bad as everybody is saying that it is. No, that was weak. That had nothing in it whatsoever. There was no sense of accountability in that statement whatsoever. None at all. No, Lou Engel is calling for a full confession. And he says, too, it would be good for Bickle to do this, not just to help healing for these survivors, but also for himself. You know, to be able to get himself to a place where he can confess all of this and you know, he talks about repentance, but I'm going to go a step above that. And look, I know some of you agree with me on this. I would argue that Bickle was never saved to begin with. And this is about somebody that has been operating as a wolf, basically since he's been in ministry, right? Go all the way back to the 70s and probably even before that. You know, he had a plan all along. It was this manipulation game. It was, you know, getting the women and everything else like that. And look, when he started IHOP KC, are you telling me for one second that the real reason he didn't start IHOP KC was just so that he can get, you know, 
closer and closer to all these women? We know that's the case here. I mean, it, you know, you can talk about the false prophecies and doctrine too. Yeah, that's all tied in with it. I mean, the whole package makes it toxic and is another reason it just needs to be completely shut down as a whole. But as Engel continued on here in his statement, he says that he believes Jane Doe. Now, the Jane Doe he was referring to in that statement was the one that came out, the first one from November of 2023 that shared her story because he didn't know about Tammy Woods and TH yet when he made the statement. Now, he also addressed the advocate group and said that he is friends with them and that he is on their side. So this wasn't a situation that where he was, you know, tangling with the advocate group from the beginning and calling them a bunch of liars and, and everything else like that. No, he says that he believes them. That they are, you know, good men and women within there that just want to see proper justice here in this entire situation as it comes to Mike Bickle. Lou Engel talked about how he wants more survivors, you know, to feel safe enough to come forward with their stories. And I thought that was interesting that he said that because then the Tammy Woods story came out just a couple of days after uh, Lou Engel had put out this post. So, uh, you know, again, whether that had anything to do with it or not, I'm not saying that it did, but, you know, that I do believe is important to say because we do want more people to come forward and really show who this guy is. Now, if Mike himself were to be able to come out, confess to everything that he has done, well, that might help to finally put some closure to this whole ordeal. But the fact that, you know, he is still choosing to, you know, push back on this. And even the other day I talked about the video script that leaked, that he was going to do this video on January 30th with him and Diane. And they were basically going to be refuting, you know, the prophecy that, all of these women had said that Mike used on them about Diane was going to die young and that they would take her place and they would be his new wife and they could be the mother of his kids and all that. Mike was going to put out a video and basically say that he never said that. He never used a prophecy of Diane's death to try and lure these women and that he was going to say that Diane herself was the one that always said that she was going to die young. And they were all going to do this on video until he actually sent the script to Tammy Woods herself, <laughs> the woman that he was involved with all those years back, thought that she was going to give him some help. She told him, yeah, I don't think that you should put this out. And then you know what happened just hours later? Bam, her story went out in the Kansas City Star. I thought that was great. If you missed that video I did, you can go back on the channel and check it out. So the walls are closing in on Mike. Will he do a full confession? I don't think so. I just don't. I think he's far too prideful and arrogant and all of that. And I just think that more stories are going to have to come out and maybe ultimately a true investigation of all of IHOP KC can be done and then it can be shut down. That was something else that Lou Engel called for here. A true uh, independent investigation that all sides can agree on, especially the advocate group and the survivors that are being represented by them. We will see if that happens, but I want to hear from you. You guys can chime in on this in the comments section. Do you agree with Lou Engel's statement of a full confession of Mike Bickle revealing everything? Do you think it will happen? What are your thoughts? What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Been doing this now for... Going all the way back to August of 2016, we always end every video with a call for salvation for anybody who has not yet received Jesus as Lord and Savior. If you would like to do that, I will lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then... You invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ.
and I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news link in the description, or just hit the super thanks button down below on this YT video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.